This video shows how to replace the seals and discs on an F3 valve. Before assembly, make sure that the assembly area is free of dirt and that the valve parts are clean and also free of dirt. First, we ensure that all surfaces are clean. Clean all surfaces. Once that's done, we start uh, greasing up our, our energizers. It goes into the body like this. After that we'll assemble the body outing by greasing that too. There we go. Once uh, that is done, uh, we check our this. Make sure that our this uh, sits firmly between the pins. And once that's done, we take it off. Put some grease at the bottom. Take your top this and grease that too. That's what we call a disc set replacement with all body seals. The next step we're going to assemble the spindle. First we make sure that the spindle is nice and clean, there's no dust, uh, no dirt on the spindle. Once that is all done we start first we put on the bottom uh, ready secondly we slip over the o-rings it's one it will be two after that we slip on the top ready Then we thrust the washer. Once our thrust the washer is on, we grease our roller bearing. We uh, make sure that it's greased uh, both sides. Like that. Slip that on. Last but not least, our last thruster washer. That's what we call a spindle replacement. We will be greasing the spindle and we will be putting the spindle onto the disc. Always uh, ensure that uh, before uh, greasing up, uh, make sure that uh, the spindle fits on top of the top disc that it lines up and it's nice and flat if not so remove any burrs off the spindle so that to secure that it sits nice and flat we start greasing up now grease up your spindle all the o-rings, wearings Alright, so that's done, we put our spindle on, see our spindle is nice and straight, nice and flat, right. 
The next step will be mounting our bonnet onto our spindle. First of all, we grease the inside of our bonnet with some grease. We try to get some grease onto the thread as well so that uh, when we uh, screw on our glare nut it will it will go on nice and smooth we add some grease on the surface of our on the face of our bonnet as well here we go like that once that's all done now I will mount the bonnet onto the spindle by lining it all up and pushing down firmly here we go once that's done I will be doing the glare nut some grease on my finger here onto the o-ring a little bit like that and some on the inner o-ring some grease you pop that in the inside once that's all done some grease over the thread on the outside here we go and we turn our planet down here we go halfway that's it after inserting all the bolts in the, in the bonnet I then use a torque wrench with the appropriate setting to torque it down once the bolts are all torqued down I then uh, tie down my glenut by using a glenut spanner I'll turn this glenut right down right to the bottom as tight as possible once that's done I'm using a uh, 14 spanner I'll turn the spindle once the spindle moves all freely I'll turn the glenut out back at least three to five notches to relieve the pressure off the off the bottom disc once I've done that I use my uh, locking screw to lock it down 